Hello everyone. In the last video, what we did, we enabled the multi-factor authentication for the root account. So before we do anything, let's just test it out if it's working or not. So just sign out. So I told you in the last video, the root account you should never use other than uh, doing a selected number of tasks that we went over in the last uh, video, uh, like closing your account changing your support plan, deleting your account, updating your email address, changing your account name, uh, getting access to Amazon government cloud and stuff like that. So, uh, so those are powerful things that if someone gets hold of your root account access, they can do some serious damage. So what we did, we enabled the MFA and I show you how to do that. So let's just test it out. So let's click on it. So again, it's asking me, okay, whether do I need to log in as a root or IAM? I'm still going to uh, log in as root, but this time you will notice that I'm going to have the MFA enabled. Okay, so let's go through this. 6DQWN6. Then let's hit submit. Oh, the captcha is not right. It happens to me a lot. So R246X2. So R Hopefully that's right. All right, that is, so I got the password. Now you see the MFA code. So, so even if my password is stolen, now if you have my password, you gotta have the MFA device that I have with me. So that is the multi-factor authentication, something you know and something you have. So the thing that I have, you don't, even though you have my password. So let's just go and find my authenticator app i'm using microsoft authentication you can use other other type of authenticator as well and let's just use my code my one-time code to log in so even though you have that code you will not be able to use that one next time right so now so what what we just proved that my account is now secure at least I have got my multi-factor authentication uh, enabled for this particular account. Okay, and that is the root account that I have. Next, what I would like to do is create one IAM user and then I wanna stop using this root account at all and then start using the IAM user that I'm gonna create to do everything else that I do unless I have a very specific need uh, where I'm deleting my account or changing my support plan and stuff like that and you should do too so let's do that next all right to create a next user so you're not going to use the root user that's not decided so you have to go to the IAM so the easiest way is probably just go over there and search for the IAM that blade will come up you just click on it it's going to take you to the IAM uh, service so now what I recommend you don't create one particular user just start with a group okay so let's just create on uh, click on groups and see what happens so there is no group at the moment so let's just create one group for administrators so add oh, oh add administrator or administrators okay and then what we are going to do in is now asking add users to the group this is optional now i don't have any other users i'm not gonna do anything the next is attach permission po uh, permission policies it's saying that it's optional but i know that i only want the admin policy so let's just search for admin and see what kind of policies i have so i have one that says administrator access job function so I think I'm gonna choose that one and uh, okay so there is another one administrator access amplify uh, I'm just gonna use this one administrator access for now and when you are de designing your policy and you're assigning policies to users or groups always try to follow the the, the least privilege you know the 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 concept of this privilege so if, 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 if one user does not need some access don't give it to them and this is especially true for for your cloud environment okay so next uh, I can click on create group 
so now I have got uh, one group uh, there are no administrators so I can go in there and uh, let's see if I can so I, I don't have any users so if I click on add user so I have no user so I cannot do it so you gotta go to the user and look, let's create the user that we want so let's click the add user button and add user say cloud security labs okay that is the user that I want to add now here they will ask you okay what kind of access do you want to grant okay programmatic access enable an access key ID and secret access key for the Amazon AWS API CLI SDK and other development tools or you just need the AWS management console or if you know need both okay I don't want the API access right now so I'm just gonna select the AWS management console and here auto generate password is fine and uh, required so uh, the first time the user is going to log in that person must change the password okay so next uh, go to the permission and over here what we'll do we'll put that uh, person into this administrator groups because that's what we want uh, next tags let's see cloud security labs um, user admin user something like that I can provide I can review this and uh, you just review what you have review your choices after you create the user you can view and download the auto generated password and access key so that looks all good and then I'm gonna hit the create user so it's going to create uh, the user and uh, here's the password and here is a link to send the emails so what I'll do I'll copy this first that link control C and let's see I have anything like a notepad with me notepad or just text editor is good so get my text editor paste that link and I'm gonna get that and uh, copy and I'm gonna paste it here and I'm gonna change this so you will not have it so don't try that account okay so over here uh, if I want I can also send the email if I wanted but that's all we need and next we have to log out of this account so let's just come over here and sign out of that my primary account a root account and then what we'll do we'll come back over here uh, copy this and then paste it over here and if you look at this link this link has a typical ID so that will be connected to my account so this time see the your account ID is already filled in uh, the IAM user name and password these are actually wrong so we need to change that so this is gonna be the cloud security labs and uh, the password is going to be this and paste and try sign in now don't save uh, again over here as I said I have to change the password so let's try a new uh, crazy password and then uh, confirm password change so that uh, this time I can save so now I'm logged in as cloud security lab user I am not the root user I am a IAM user and this is the user I should be using to do any other work from now on so again if you want to enable multi-factor authentication for this particular user again so you're gonna go to the my security credentials okay so what you will do uh, I'll come back over here we'll design access key we'll create that in, in, the, in the next video but over here at least uh, quickly I'm gonna assign a virtual MFA device and then I'm gonna do a so QR and uh, let's see my authenticator 
I'm just opening up. I'm using a Microsoft Authenticator. There are so many Authenticators that you can you can use if you like. And what you need to do on the Authenticator, you just say uh, add account, then add other account. Once you do that, you have to just uh, do. You have to uh, scan this particular code that you have QR code, and that will take the QR code. And once you have the QR code, you will be able to put two consecutive MFA codes in here and you just say assign MFA. Okay. Hold on. Okay. So I have entered my security keys and then I can hit assign MFA. And now I have assigned MFA successfully for that account that we have just created. Okay. So what I will do since I use this account just for a demonstration. I'm actually going to delete that complete account uh, and so that none of you who are trying and trying to think something doing crazy stuff should not be able to do it okay so but this is the way that uh, you assign uh, you create a new IAM user and then uh, enable the multi-factor authentication for that particular user account and you go from there Okay, so that's all I wanted to show in this video how to create the first IAM user that you should be using for any other administrative work other than that the other than the task that requires uh, at the root account. Okay, they'll save your root account very very securely and never use it. Use this account to do everything else. Thanks for watching the video. Stay safe and secure and happy learning AWS. Thank you.